coming to you today from the jungles of Rincon, Puerto Rico to talk about ah. how to maintain our health and our immunity and be younger and healthier every single day. When we're talking about our health and our immune system, it's important to remember that there's not any one thing that will magically boost your immunity or your immune system. What it comes down to is being healthy in general. Uh, as we age, um, depending on our genetics, uh, some environmental factors, some of these things are outside of your control, but there are a lot of things that are within your control, and these are the things that we'll talk about in this video. In the modern world, we face a lot of different things, a lot of information that are coming at us about what's the best way to take care of our health. And so sometimes we get stuck in some of the details, but nowadays the top two killers um, of our health or damagers of our health are heart disease and cancer. And there's, there are a few others uh, out there, but those are still the, the number, the top ones on the, on the list. And what causes that? There's two main reasons, smoking and poor diet and, and obesity. So those are the two. Of the, of the other things, uh, we'll talk about some of those, but those two things, if you could just focus on those, not smoking and maintaining a healthy weight and a, a proper diet, you will see the most benefits. So starting with the number one thing that you can do to protect your health, and that is to not smoke cigarettes, to not use tobacco. That is still the number one killer of uh, most people in the modern world. It's, it's amazing that only 20% or so of the population smokes, and yet it can still kill approximately 1,000 to 1,200 people every day. So it causes lung uh, disease, lung cancer, cancer of all over the body, heart disease. It complicates things like diabetes. Uh, it is the number one killer. So if you can quit smoking, that will be the best thing. And for those of you who have never smoked or who have quit smoking, good job. You are, you are ahead of the curve, just that alone. So keep it up. Um, if you need help in quitting, you can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. There's a lot of other resources available. Talk to your uh, medical provider about quitting smoking. But that's the best thing that you can do for your health. The next most important thing that you can do to maintain a healthy, vibrant, and younger life full of energy and immune boosting uh, methods is to maintain a healthy body weight. Uh, and you can achieve this two basic ways. One is a healthy, low calorie or light uh, calorie diet, and two is a um, moderate level of exercise. With physical activity, you don't have to do anything super fancy, unless you want to. If you enjoy taking classes or exercise courses, that's perfectly fine. But if you just want to take a walk, a hike, um, jump around in your living room, do jumping jacks, anything that gets your heart rate up, some, some cardio, uh, and then of course yoga or stretching is also really great for, for a variety of reasons. So if you can do your exercise outside, you get double benefits because you have your connection to nature. And then if you can do some stretching and other more soft uh, exercises, you'll get the extra benefit of calming the mind, uh, which can help with stress relief also, which is an immune booster. What you want to strive for is at least about 30 minutes of uh, moderate to strenuous activity every day uh, where you feel your heart beating. Uh, if you can do this kind of in a natural way, you don't even have to really think about it, but if you are in kind of a situation where you're in the house or you work a lot of hours in an office and you need to um, do it you know, on purpose, you know, just make sure you get up every morning, do some jumping jacks, march in place, uh, play an uh, exercise video, but some way that you can get those 30 minutes in uh, if it doesn't come naturally in your, your own lifestyle. But really uh, strive for that in your, in your daily life to get that uh, uh, cardio, higher cardio, as well as the lower stretching uh, type of exercises in your daily life. Our diet is probably the most important part of our health that we are uh, in control of every single day. Um, three, four times a day we put something in our bodies. And so that, what you put in and how much you put in really does matter um, over the course of time. 
The main advice, there's always going to be lots of different uh, opinions on diet. There's uh, the new diet trends and the latest uh, things out there. But the main thing is, what I, what I kind of subscribe to, is uh, Michael Pollan's advice to eat food, mostly plants, not too much. So basically what we mean by uh, eat food is to eat try not to eat as much junk food, things that have been processed, especially avoid processed meats. That is a known carcinogen. That's like things like bacon, uh, hot dogs, lunch meats. That's because they're processed with nitrates and nitrites, which are known um, cancer causers. So especially avoid those. Avoid processed foods like uh, chips and cereals and things like that. They have a lot of added sugars and salts and fats. Basically things that didn't exist a hundred or two hundred years ago, try to avoid that. Try to eat as close to the source, close to the ground, um, to the animal or whatever it is as you can as you can find. Um, and then eat mostly plants. The plants have a lot of fiber, they have the antioxidants, so try to eat a variety of colors. Um, make salad one of your main staples of your of your meals during the during the week. Today's lunch is salad cottage cheese, variety of lettuce greens, spinach, kale, some red peppers, carrots, various nuts and almond and avocados. Buen provecho. Um, and then the, the big thing that I think a lot of people miss when they, they talk about diet is the, the not too much part. Uh, probably if you're eating a standard American diet, you could eat about a third, at least half of what you're normally eating. The serving sizes are just enormous in, in restaurants um, and that kind of trains our brain. We just continue to eat and eat and eat and because it's so, um, so processed and so full of addictive uh, chemicals, we tend to eat a lot more than our body really actually needs. So um, when you think about eating, maybe share your meals, um, that kind of thing. No, anything, basically have a wide variety. That's the main point um, because you want to get a lot of different vitamins and nutrients that every food has. That's the, the benefit of being an omnivore is that you can eat all sorts of things and that's what we need as humans is to have a lot of different things. If you're eating the same diet all the time, the same foods every day, then you might want to consider a, a supplement, a vitamin supplement to make sure that you're getting all of those uh, micronutrients that you might be missing in your diet. But um, your diet is really important. Another thing to think about in your diet is your alcohol content. Uh, excess alcohol has been uh, linked with cancer and other illnesses. A small amount of alcohol has been connected to, um, to better um, heart health, but the, sometimes the benefits can, can be um, lost if you, you know, drink too much. So be real careful with alcohol because it is addictive and um, if you have too much it can be linked to, to cancer. So um, moderate alcohol use but be really careful if you overdo it you know cut that out completely uh, as well because it's just not worth that, um, that risk. Everything that you put in your body, everything that you do on a daily basis eventually adds up over time. So make sure that you're making the best choices that you can. Of course nobody's going to be perfect and that's okay. Life is uh, about moderation. Moderation in all things. So um, you know, just try to kind of have, I always consider it the 80-20 rule, you know, do the best you can 80% of the time, 20% of the time, you know, you kind of get a, get a break. But uh, if, you can, if you can live pretty clean and, and strong in your diet and health 80% of the time, you're going to see the maximum benefits that you can possibly while still living a pretty fun and enjoyable life. Another thing that's really important in maintaining your health, your physical health, is to maintain your mental health. It's well known that stress and uh, negative emotions can lead to physical manifestations uh, in poor health conditions. So some things that you might try to maintain your health, your mental health, um, probably the biggest one is to get a good night's sleep. Um, sometimes that's difficult if your mind is racing, if you have a lot of anxiety, um, but that's probably the, the biggest thing in your mental health. The next thing that you could do is to uh, consciously uh, try to maintain uh, like happy vibes. <laughs> it's not to discount any of the negative emotions, those are just as valid. But if you, when you sm smile, when you laugh, those release serotonin, those release um, healing properties within your body um, that help with your brain and 
help with your body. So um, sometimes playing music will help, watching a comedy, um, talking with friends and family that will put you in a, a more relaxed state. Um, love and kissing and hugging, um, those kind of things, love especially, releases oxytocin which makes you feel a lot more relaxed, a lot calmer in the mind. Um, meditation, praying, giving gratitude and thanks also helps to calm the mind, puts out um, relaxing and lower stress vibes throughout your body that help you to heal from any kind of um, illness or problem that you might be facing. Going outside and being in nature, we kind of talked about that with, uh, with exercise, that all, always kind of connects you to the greater good, the greater part of, um, of life and kind of takes you outside of your head. So just remember that we're all connected, that we're, we're not just our body. We are our mind, we are our spirit, we are our community, and having all of those co together and fully functioning at its optimal uh, level is what will help us to fight off any kind of illness that comes our way that doesn't, uh, doesn't let in um, things that can harm us. Uh, obviously, that's that's not always the case. Sometimes things just happen. But if we can maintain our health at the optimal level, we have the best chance of fighting off anything that comes our way and living a long, fruitful life. Here's to our health and maintaining it every day. So, um, I'm talking a little bit quiet because Aiden's out there sleeping, but um, just wanted to show you a few examples of exercises that you can do even in a small space um, to keep your health up, um, keep your mental health strong, keep your physical health strong. Exercise does so much for your body, keeps your circulation moving, cleans out your lungs. Um, so it's really important to get that cardiovascular. So. Basically, the best is just like walking or um, swimming, you know, low impact, but getting your heart rate up. So when you don't have a lot of space to do that, you kind of have to do some other things. So some things that I do when I haven't had a chance to be outside or mow or, you know, do those kind of things is I jump in place <laughs> like that <laughs> or just like basically jumping jacks. Um, so and then I a lot of times I'll do one, two, one, two, three. Like lifting both your feet off the ground is how you get your heart rate up. Um, so, you know, you could do that, anything like that in place. You could do butt kickers, uh, like this, this kind of thing. If you use both your hands like that, <laughs> I know it looks silly, but that's how you get your heart rate up. Um, so once you kind of get, get enough where you're breathing heavy, and it's a little bit harder to have a conversation then you know that it's working. Uh, and another thing that I do is I do lunges. So I go like this, all the way down, touch the ground, and then I kick. And that's really good for, um, it's strength training, but it's also, um, built, so it's building the muscles, but it also does get your heart rate up a little bit. Some other things that I do for um, strength training is I do um, like ab isolations, like this, like tense your um, arms and then just move your rib cage and then sometimes I go like this just real basic things like, <laughs> like you might have done back in school you know in PE or something it's, uh, maybe just do a few like this kick your arms back um, on the ground you can do some other stretches and things like that, some core work, some sit-ups or crunches. After you've gotten your heart up, you know, try to do that. If, if you can't have a sustained 30 minutes, try to do those maybe 10, 10 minute sections during the day, throughout the day to get your 30 minutes. And then when it comes down to, um, to later in the night, when you're settling down, calming down, calming your mind down, then I do basically some yoga or stretching moves. Um, so basically I stretch up and then I touch the ground. fun to do some of those yoga moves that are fancy, 
But what you're basically trying to do is target every muscle. Your, your quads are your, your biggest ones. Your stomach or your core keeps your back and everything in line, keeps you walking straight. And your arms obviously helps you to carry things. So, you know, focus on all of those things. With, um, with arms, you could use something like stairs like this and just do, um, that helps to get the triceps, the, the back of the arms. And then of course, uh, push-ups. Downward dog is really nice. Just hold it right here. You're going to always use certain muscles during the day, but you want to use the, the muscles that don't get used. So if you can kind of have a, a schedule of, of exercises and you think about all the way down your body that each one of those muscles is getting used and rotated if you need to, but um, that's, those are just some examples of some things that I do. Um, and then finally at the end, just lay down, um, kind of relax and release. Deep breaths, deep breathing really helps to calm the the system and uh, you know just have fun keep your body going keep it moving a body in motion keeps going in motion uh, so good job <laughs> basically frog here coming to you live from the jungle of green corn. <laughs> it's not easy being green, but you gotta do your best. <laughs>